So just recently I got given this Carrera GT go-kart and it's like a it's more for kids not really hobby grade but it is pretty cool we get these different characters like here I've got the Donkey Kong and get the basic Mario and other characters and stuff like that but when I get it when I got given it it was wasn't working I think the board was dead and I didn't have the controller so I thought hey my kids keep harassing me for to for me to fix it and I couldn't get an original controller or find his board online so what I did was I bought this brushed ESC from Hobby King and I'm going to use it onto on the existing motor to see if it will work and I'm pretty sure it will so the servo in this is just like a basic motor with a two wire so it won't really work plugged into a normal receiver so what I'm gonna do is I've got this JX servo from Banggood and it's I had it lying around so it's pretty good it's got a huge uh, it's got 17 kilo torque uh, here so it's <laughs> plenty overkill for this but I just had it lying around and here it is here so what I am going to do is kind of mount it down here rip all this off try to retrofit and make it work into this original housing of this uh, go-kart so should be fun little activity little uh, exercise see if we can actually get it going because my kids love it and I think it's pretty cool so I'll get uh, rid of getting rid of some of this stuff and I'll show you the progress okay so this is where I am currently at I've taken out all the old steering mechanism which was this one here and you can't use it because it's just two wires so there is no memory you won't know it'll just keep spinning that's why you need a three wire there from memory I think the the middle wire of a servo cable tells it which way or the position so I'm no expert but I think that's what it is but so I can't use this whole unit so that's completely out I've got this modified some of these mounts here just so I can sit flat and I can see roughly where it is so we can see there it's exactly in the middle and it'll give me enough throw left and right to uh, give you the adequate steering I need so just got to find a way to mount this down and a way to transfer this movement to this bar here so it shouldn't be that difficult but uh, stay tuned okay the shenanigans continue I've hooked up the servo and I managed to lie it down flat onto the floor using the good old cable ties as my fixing point and even though the cable ties it is not moving whatsoever I was going to glue down the servo but I tried testing it with just these cable ties and it is not moving whatsoever and here we go we have movement so I'm very happy with that it looks works very well very nice and uh, yeah the kids will be uh, sure couldn't wait to get this uh, out and giving it a thrash but that's the steering part done that's the hardest part of this build because uh, the motor is easy it's just connecting the wires up into the ESC but that's it let me get this top on and continue to the next part so I've made some good progress on the go-kart here for Mario Kart Donkey Kong and I've, as you can see I've got the servo hooked up I relocated the new ESC on an off switch where the old one was as well so that was turned out nice soldered the motor wires to the new ESC along with some new Dean's connected battery terminals because I have heaps of those lying around in my arsenal so let's see if it all works if I turn on the bottom here as you can see turn on the receiver and the transmitter and everything is working as it should give it a bit of throttle Break and reverse. There we go. Happy days. So, so far, so good. Steering works well. Everything is working as it should. Very happy with that. It's keen to see how it goes on LiPo. And this little uh, mechanism here attaches to the back side of the uh, figurine and it kind of turns with the steering wheel when you turn the steering wheel. It copies it as well. So, it looks pretty cool. So, I'll try to get all this nice and neat and I'll show you the progress once I put some of these covers on. Okay, now I've sorted out all the electronics, double-sided tape into this separate compartment because over this side is the on and off switch underneath there and this side is all crammed in. You've got the receiver over here and the electronic speed controller all tucked away there nicely. So 
what I've done as well, this is a cowling that goes over the side compartment here. What I did, I've cut out two holes so air can rush through because the ESC is right here. Now that was blocked off, it might get a bit hot and it might have a nice little barbecue up in there. So if I put this down here, for example, I'll show you just do a little bit of a dry fit. As you can see, there's the fins, the cooling fins for the ESC so the air can rush through there and exhaust back out the other side like so. So, so far looking so good. Everything is a nice tight fit. But once I button down everything and make sure there's no wires getting snagged everywhere, that should be fine. So I'll get all this on, I'll get this top piece put on, and I'll show you how it looks once everything's uh, put together. So here we have the completed Donkey Kong go-kart made from Carrera. Now I got given this, and it didn't have the controller. I think there was something faulty with the control board, so it couldn't really make it work. So as you saw in the, in the previous steps, I converted it to... A brushed ESC and a metal gear like 17 kilo servo yes it's overkill but let's see if I can read it there so it's probably getting around 17 kilos to move these puny little tires but I had it I got it from Banggood I'll leave it the link for that and I'll also leave the link for the uh, brushed ESC which I got from Hobby King in the description below but let's turn it all on so I utilize the the standard uh, switch position as well so there we go there and I use the receiver from this fly sky as well there we go as you can see when you turn left and right the actual Donkey Kong turns with it so that's pretty cool I added this there's a little uh, vent there I added for the ESC because that's the ESC right there you see the light flashing and if I turn it around you'll see the receiver there as well so if, if any hot air or any, you know, it gets pretty hot in there, at least it can escape. It won't get that bad because it's not that high of an RPM motor and it's just brushed as well. So everything's nice and proportional. Here we go there. Let's receive the um, ESC is programmable as well, so this is just stock setting. I might muck around with it. But it's also got full bra and reverse. Pretty cool. And yes, the steering will be proportional as well so very happy with how, how it looks it looks very much stock apart from that if you look at it from there but uh, as soon as you put it on the ground it goes much quicker than the standard kit so what I'll do I'll do some footage of it driving around and uh, it does slide a lot drifts a fair bit on this timber floor that I have but outside it's pretty grippy but I'll show you how it looks <laughs> I'm just at the front of my house on the driveway just to show, show you a bit of the top speed and how it performs. Sorry if it's a little bit loud out here, but uh, yeah, this is pretty much meant for indoors or just some um, smooth surfaces. So let's see how it goes. It's not too bad. On some smoother surfaces, it does drift pretty nice. That's pretty cool, even those little exhausts rattle around, they kind of got like little rubber mounts to kind of imitate them shaking around, but <laughs> there we go, a bit of a donut, pull out of the donut, there we go. This is just something fun, it's cool for the kids. Um, I'm not too sure are they on the stock setup how it goes, but it does seem pretty uh, good on this setup. It is a LiPo battery, 7.2 volt, 1500 milliamp, and the ESC does include a uh, LiPo cutoff, so pretty cool. At least the range will be decent like any RC car, it's got a decent uh, hobby grade ESC. But on this service it does grip very nice. But uh, it does have suspension, it's pretty mediocre but it does work. But it is meant for indoor or flat services like this. Yeah, and, it does, and it does have a differential as well so that's pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed it, happy days. Any comments, leave them down below. But hope you did enjoy it. And uh, 
Thanks for watching. Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7. I'll see you in the next video.